Hi everyone, we're at the Naval Group's Naval Innovation Days and this morning I'm meeting with Aurore Nojvander, the Director of uh, Unmanned Systems and uh, Underwater Weapons at Naval Group and we're going to discuss Unmanned Systems. Aurore, so good morning. Good morning. Thanks for uh, your time uh, answering a few of my uh, questions. So to start with, can you please uh, tell us why it is important today for a big player in the naval defense field, such as Naval Group, uh, to start focusing on uh, unmanned systems, uh, be them uh, underwater, surface, or even air systems? Yeah, sure. Um, na uh, autonomous systems become a reality in uh, naval combat. They are more and more uh, used in uh, in uh, military operations, and uh, they they really uh, give a, a complement to the uh, manned solutions, be it uh, as you said uh, in the air, on the surface, or underwater. So they really give um, uh, a boost in uh, in uh, um, operational capabilities for uh, the navies, and the interests uh, of navies in increasingly uh, uh, being. Uh, 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 pointed to uh, autonomous systems. Is that because it brings uh, more capabilities uh, or because it uh, makes uh, the issue of uh, human resources for the Navy easy to manage? Well, I would say both. <laughs> um, the advantages of unmanned solutions are uh, very uh, uh, wide. Uh, you can uh, go um, uh, on, on uh, larger uh, uh, missions, uh, you can uh, have new um, sensors or, or uh, effectors that are distributed uh, um, on, the, on the sea uh, surface. Uh, you, can, uh, have, you can send autonomous systems in uh, uh, diffi dangerous places. Uh, and of course Such as the deep sea? Yeah, such as the deep sea or a mined uh, area. Uh, and uh, yes, of course, if you have uh, some difficulty to manage the resources and a lack of, resor of human resources, um, and crude uh, systems can also offer a solution to keep uh, the operations going uh, with a few resources needed. Uh, now, or uh, specifically, there's. Uh, I wanted to go into some specifics. Uh, there are there's a lot going on uh, currently uh, as we speak. Uh, as far as Naval Group is concerned, uh, we reported uh, a couple of weeks ago that uh, your XL UUV is currently conducting qualification trials of uh, Toulon. Mm -hmm. uh, we took pictures of the of the drones uh, during those trials. Uh, can you tell us more and can you confirm? <laughs> yes, I can confirm. Um, yeah, the idea we, we have uh, invested uh, uh, for a few years now, and, and uh, have um, some demonstrators that are available. Uh, and uh, this Excel UUV uh, demonstrator is uh, an example. So he is uh, now uh, um, re um, running its uh, sea trials and uh, with uh, good results and will be used uh, soon for uh, operation, uh, op operational experimentations as well. And uh, you received a DGA, French Procurement Agency contract, uh, to use it as a test bed uh, to uh, develop some uh, autonomy softwares or technology on board this uh, XL UUV. Yeah, that's currently under discussion, but uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the uh, uh, the ideas and the way it will be used, but it will be also used to uh, test new uh, uh, payloads or uh, new technologies. Uh, so uh, this demonstrator is really here to give us some flexibility and, and to be able to accelerate uh, the development of uh, our solutions. So that was uh, in the underwater field with the XL UUV. You are also, you're also current, currently working on an MUSV, medium-sized uh, unmanned surface vessel. Uh, it's called the Sterendu. It's currently in uh, Brittany and it will jo soon join uh, the XL UUV down south in Toulon. Can you tell us more? Yeah, uh, the idea is the same. We wanted to have a, a demonstrator for the surface uh, unmanned solutions and uh, to be able to uh, test some uh, use cases, uh, to test uh, uh, several uh, payloads and, and also to be able to um, test some uh, air, 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 air drone mm. <laughs> uh, and, and see how the uh, navalization of uh, those drones can be performed in a safely environment.
uh, we just uh, saw this uh, during the Naval Innovation Days, actually. Uh, you used the uh, MUSV to deploy some uh, UAVs uh, during trials uh, this summer in, in Brittany. Yeah, sure. And it was uh, considered as a success. And, and it opens new new areas to, to see how these uh, small UAVs can be uh, used uh, in, in several uh, um, occasions to... to help or uh, or uh, help uh, uh, defend the the, the manned uh, solutions but also uh, to to be a threat and and help in the the training of the uh, the, the navies so uh, as you just mentioned uh, uavs uh, the my third topic i wanted to discuss with you uh, is uh, the one regarding uh, the vsr 700 uh, naval group is working with uh, airbus helicopters uh, uh, for this uh, vtol uav and uh, as uh, far as uh, naval news understands uh, the sea trials of this uh, unmanned helicopter on board the French uh, frigate uh, started uh, this week uh, from uh, French uh, from frigate uh, Provence. Uh, what is the current status of uh, this program as far as the uh, naval group is, uh, is concerned? Yeah, you're also right. So we, we are working with the uh, Airbus helicopter on the DVSR 700. Uh, it's currently uh, uh, at trial, uh, so I, I cannot say uh, much more <laughs> at this stage, but uh, uh, we hope uh, everything will go uh, correctly and, uh, and uh, will uh, be soon uh, operational on the the, navi the, the boat. No. And uh, this is as part of uh, those experimentations, those tests are uh, conduct being conducted as part of uh, an upcoming uh, French Navy program called uh, SDAM, I, I believe. There is currently a, a technical study uh, with uh, DGA uh, on this subject and uh, yeah it could uh, lead to uh, a program yes the stem program yeah. all right very well thank you very much thank you Gisele.